All right, hey guys. So I'm sure most of you know this already, but there are many other bundle websites out there besides Humble Bundle. And the creators of this one reached out to me. This one's called Bunch of Keys or bunchkeys.com. And they wanted me to showcase their newest bundle, which is the Lightning Fast Bundle. It includes 10 games for $1.50, which is really cheap. So individually, each game is 15 cents each. And I think three of the games have Steam trading cards. So if you decide to farm the cards, you're gonna get like 30 cents back in Steam credit. And there's some fairly decent games thrown in here as well. They're not just all super low end. Uh, Run Rooms is a horror game that many YouTubers have played like Markiplier and so forth. Looks pretty fun. Uh, Lavocious, I believe, just came out on Steam. It's a, uh, I guess you call it a JRPG. It looks pretty neat. Uh, Don't Pray to Satan looks fairly interesting. It's a game where you have to try to prevent people from becoming satanic, which just sounds super interesting in concept. And then there's Die With Glory, which is a good looking platformer, and a bunch of other games thrown in here as well. So if you're a game collector and you're looking to expand your game library, or if you're just a fan of indie games, or if you just want a bunch of cheap games, uh, this one seems fairly decent. It's Lightning Fast number 23. And if you buy multiple bundles, you can get a little bit of a discount. So if you have friends that want to chip in, you can get two for 279 which will save you 20 cents and then you can get 10 bundles for 12 dollars but a dollar 50 for 10 games i think it's a good deal this bundle only lasts another five days so make sure you pick it up before then i should also mention that their previous bundle also looks pretty good there's 20 games here for a dollar 50 although these are very very low end games i'll put a link to this one in the description as well but just keep in mind a lot of these are absolutely terrible and they're just kind of thrown in uh so yeah, in terms of quality, this bundle is a lot worse, but you're getting more games. So if you're a collector, you might want to pick it up just to expand your game library. Uh, also, one more thing, there's a game on Steam called Prismata. It has very positive reviews. It's a card game. It is currently free on Steam for another day. It, ex it expires tomorrow, Monday. Uh, so if you're missing the game, just go to the store page and scroll down to this little section and hit play game or add to library, whatever it says here, and make sure you redeem it before tomorrow, and then you can keep it forever. It looks fairly decent. It has a lot of really good reviews. So uh, yeah, if you want a free game, make sure to pick that one up. I believe it also has Steam trading cards, so you can get some money uh, that way. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. The Lightning Fast number 23 bundle. For the rest of this video, I'm going to play a couple of the games and just show you some of the gameplay of me playing the game. Uh, some of them look fairly decent, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching and have a nice day. Okay, so this is Run Room. I believe we have four minutes to find a key to escape. I think you also need to find these little pictures. I think there's 12 pictures in total. Alright, so it's a uh, ground, I guess. There's Random TV. It's locked. Let's see. Open the box. We picked up 15 keys. I wonder if uh, those will open other doors. Oh wait, unlock door. Ooh, okay, so we can unlock doors with those keys that we found. <laughs> this is so creepy. It, it's almost like at any point, there's just going to be some guy that's going to run at me and just kill me. What the hell is that? Okay. There's another picture. So it's kind of like Slenderman. You have to go through the place and find 12 photos. Oh, crap. Oh crap! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! That scared the shit out of me! What the hell? Okay, so this is Lavocious. It's actually pretty interesting. It's like a traditional RPG, but it's 3D. And you can also go first person, which is super cool. I've never really seen an RPG like this. Let's go ahead and exit the room. So it's like a mix between like 2D and 3D, but it's really, really cool. Time to die. An exciting battle emerges. Pounce. <laughs> Jerko lantern. That's what they're called. Jerko lanterns. All right, 
Alright, let's see if I have any abilities. Deadly spell that calls forth a phantom. Whoa. <laughs> Bam. Treats? No items. So we have tricks and treats. Charge. Oh, you can charge your attack? Oh, I missed. Let's see if I have any other abilities. Increases the evasion, heal, curse. Downs the resistance. Alright, so that was like my special attack that I used earlier. There we go. And my little cat character was victorious and we received a refreshing beverage. All right, so now I'm the princess in this little fantasy town. The game looks really, really nice. I'm really liking the uh, the graphics and the art style. And the music's pretty good as well. So yeah, I'm sure uh, RPG fans would really enjoy this. Oh, another battle, another exciting battle emerges. Let's see if I have any skills, I don't have any skills. I'm just gonna do normal attacks. Victory. <laughs> okay, so this is Don't Pray to Satan. The first job is to find the Satanists and prevent them from praying to Satan. So I'm not entirely sure how to do that. I guess you have to just go to each person and see what they do. Um, uh oh. Have you ever put that all to here? Has great taste. Nope. You're a bad person. So what do I do? Purify thoughts. So I just purified that person's thoughts, and I guess the influence meter has gone down. Let lightning strike my ass down if I ever wear white past Labor Day. So it's kind of a, like a god game where you're basically going around, you can cast lightning, send a citizen running home, purify totem, sanctuary, vessels, so I think the main thing you do at the beginning is you go around uh, clicking on each person and seeing how much they're influenced by Satan and then trying to purify their thoughts. If too many people pray to Satan, the Hellgate will open and you'll lose the game. Kind of an interesting concept. And finally, this is Die With Glory. It's actually a point and click game. At first I thought it was a platformer based off the trailer, but let's see here. So I just died, and I'm flying up to Valhalla. And I fell back down. Uh-oh. Go and die with glory. Find a weapon and a foe. Oh, okay. So, this is like Viking mythology. You have to die, like, in battle. Otherwise, you don't get to go to Valhalla. Tar. Oh, this is kind of annoying. It's so slow. It's gonna take me forever to get up. Alright, so here's my foe. Time to fight him. Alright, anyways. We're gonna fight. That's the goal of the game, fight with glory and get to Valhalla, it's pretty cool. Hooray! Game over. 